Now Ziri Mesher is going to completely swap out this mesh with another mesh. So if I want to project my details back to this mesh, we're going to need to take this subtool here, duplicate it off, I'm going to hold down shift and turn off all my eyeballs and then turn these back on. So now we just have these two showing. And now when I go to zero mesh this thing, I go a little bit faster. So now I won't get a little bit faster, but it just makes it a little bit easier. And when we go to project all, we won't be projecting to anything we don't want to see. So now if we take this and we go down here to zero mesh, let's, I guess, target polygon count of fine at five is fine. I am going to keep my adaptive size up just a little bit. That's going to build in some more edges around these um, edge changes on here. And then curve strength, I don't think we're going to use curve strength, but we are going to use poly paint. So I can do color density. I'm going to make it a little bit more dense in the, let's go to a standard brush RGB turned on. I want it a little bit more dense in the face here and in the ears and in the lips. Basically all through here, all through his face here. Uh, what you could do also, you could just mask, let's go to mask lasso invert that and then fill that with a color that's just color fill like this and if you want to you can hit C and then you could paint out or maybe you don't need a whole lot of resolution but I do want a little bit more resolution in the face and also probably when we're sculpting in here oh we turned that off now I can go ahead and sample this color and it's basically using these colors to tell Ziri Mesher where to put in a little more geo now sometimes this might be more trouble than it's worth We'll give it a shot. And then if there's any ever, ever any places where you don't want to have a whole lot of geometry, just go down here to colorize and say like point, point 0.25 or something. And now when you go through here, you'll paint a blue and that'll be very much less dense. But I don't really don't care about that. I just care about getting a little more density uh, in these key areas here. Let's add a little bit more to the feet. So basically any place where there's going to be open skin, I want to be able to sculpt a little more detail on these little pads down here and then anywhere where there's not it's just gonna be fur you can just whatever that, that density doesn't need to be that high so uh, we do have X turned on so we are gonna get a symmetrical mesh out of zero mesher so let's go down here target part on the count of five I think this is fine so we'll go ahead and hit zero mesh and let that go for a minute so this is our zero mesh um, here if we want to at this point now we've lost our poly paint here you can see so if I zero mesh this again because you can't just go like zero mesh or half and just knock that down but then you'll lose the more density in the face now it's just a little bit more even um, and of course you can crank your adaptive size up if you want it to build in more edges on the turns there but I think this is exactly what I'm looking for um, but I am going to rebuild these uh, areas around the eyes and possibly the mouth we'll see how that goes 